Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review, just for you and just for you. I am in Bradford, Ontario at Krabby Joe's to do the Big Joe Burger. It is a monster of a burger and I am going to eat it just for you. I have to go in, it's a regular sit down restaurant. I'm going to buy it, drag it out here and devour it. Are you ready? Here we go. Woo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so because this is a sit down restaurant in Canada, they charge a little bit more. And uh, so the burger itself came to $15.99. I didn't I want any sides on it, but it came with fries, but I don't want to eat fries right now. So uh, after the tax and everything, it was $18.07. I got lots of napkins because this burger is going to be big, I believe. And it looks, oh, wow. Comes in pieces. They gave you me, me a knife and fork. This is going to be big. Ooh la la. Let's open it up. It's starting to smell great already. Holy schmoly. I'm glad they're giving me this trough to catch all the bits and pieces that are gonna be falling from my mouth. All right, so let's go in for a close up. Okay, people, there's your extreme close up of the mighty Joe Burger. There are two all beef patties, two slices of cheese, two extra crispy chunks of bacon, those look fabulous. Two onion rings. We've got, it looks like onions, tomatoes, pickles, and lettuce. And they gave me some condiments to put on there. All right, guys, let's put this bad boy together and mow down. All right, guys, we finished putting it together. The bun is an Asiago style bagel, it looks like. And we're gonna get into this right away. I'm gonna have to squish it down to get the whole thing in my mouth. Ooh la la. This is gonna be a challenge. So it's got onion rings and red onions. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that sucker. Here we go. Hmm. The sauce is tangy. The beef is good. This is this is silly because I can't get all the flavors in my mouth at the same time and it is dripping like crazy. That can't be good, but it is. Here we go. I'm gonna try really hard. Almost. I'm gonna need a shower. The beef is undercooked. I'm not too happy about that. She didn't ask me how I wanted it. And when they don't ask you, they usually give it to you at least medium to medium well. So, so I've experienced. And when they ask you how you want it, then you'll get it how you want it. I guess I could ask how I wanted it. Okay, let's go in for another bite. Mmm. It is good. So the first patty is medium, uh, medium, and the second patty is, patty is medium uh, rare. I'm not sure how many people like rare burgers. I don't. All right, guys. I'm going to do a special bite for all my one o'clock in the morning people. You know who you are. Are you ready? Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is mine. Here we go. Mm. Mm. I got the onion ring in that one. Mm. It's falling everywhere. But I've got my trough. And I, as I picked up my trough, a drip landed on my shorts. Okay, people. I'm going to polish this off just for you and just for you. Are you ready? Hang on! Still have a lot to go. Two points for Ken. I had to look. I know. 
All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna probably have to go in between indifferent and would recommend, only because the beef was undercooked, a little too undercooked for my liking. As I got further into the burger, the second burger or the second patty that I couldn't see earlier because I couldn't get my mouth around it, uh, it was undercooked as well. I did take the pickles off just because I don't like pickles. And one other thing, Krabby Joe's, the shredded lettuce, I hate shredded lettuce on my burgers, especially big burgers like that. You gotta put a leaf lettuce on the bottom to stop the fat from getting into that bottom bun and put one on the top just for kicks. That's all I'm saying. That's my recommendation to you and to you. So next time you come to Krabby Joe's, make sure you tell them how well you want your burger patty. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. Right, we're still recording. <laughs> Productions TV, welcome back. So let's look over there. Woo, we are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, people, we're back. The worst, worst way to come back. We're gonna try and squish this down so I can put it in my mouth. So I can put it in my mouth. All right, people, we put it together. The bun is an Asiago. So on. <clears throat> I did have to take the pickles off, and it was just falling all over the place. It destroyed my car. Who gives a shit? And also one of the other things that does. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's all I'm saying. That's my recommend. That's my recommendation. Recommendation. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.